Guys, welcome back to the channel, SEFMS and these Organite Creations. Now, I get this question a lot. Um, basically, what resin do you use? How do you know what resin is good? Um, it's up to you to decide to try out different resins um, to see. So you've got like um, uh, polyester resin, you've got epoxy resins, there's other natural resins, tree resins, um, you can even use beeswax. Um, you know, there's things you can use to create Organite. But you do want something that shrinks so beeswax is definitely not one i don't know about tree resins there's probably a lot of other resins out there uh polyester um is good for shrinkage you can get epoxy resins to shrink too um now what what i want to look at is now i'm going to tell you exactly what i use like what brand what it is um because you might not be able to get it where you're from and shipping is ridiculous okay um the price because it's so heavy um we buy ours in in large quantities it's 20 liters uh yeah it's 20 liters so about it's about 20 kilos okay it's a massive drum um so to get that shipped you're gonna be it's gonna cost you just as much um to ship it as to buy it okay um because we get it pretty well locally okay so we just yeah i'm not gonna tell you what we get but what you want to look for when you're trying when you experiment when you um, are looking to what resin uh, to make sure this stuff really works um, this stuff here this is ours um, this here is someone else's okay their take on organite I'm not going to tell you who they are but I'm gonna have point out a few things that may shock you um, and if you know who this who makes this um, then uh, yeah you yours might be exactly the same I'm gonna run through um, a few things now I know what resin this is made out of this is an epoxy resin and it's that eco eco epoxy or eco epoxy or something uh, it's claims it's non-toxic and um, safe to use and stuff like that um, but now I pick this up now you don't know unless you've got one of these but I can smell it and it has a smell okay pick ours up have smell it I can't smell a thing all right can't smell a thing um, but the stuff we use is isn't saying that it's non-toxic so it's up to you what you choose what i'm saying this stuff this eco epoxy uh epoxy resin uh gives off a smell um not only that it doesn't it might it might shrink i mean it kind of looks like it might a little as it goes in maybe i've been told by the maker that it does shrink um but um check this out okay so this is one of his early ones. So you can see these here, they're actually exactly the same. But they're different shape, different style. This one here, there's more of it. So it was more generous. He's obviously changed the volume in which he does these. But I've had this one here the longest, years and years. Uh, might even be about 10 years, this one. Just say about, maybe about five or something like that. Um, but check this out, okay? So I'm just going to go to these corners. Now, I have dropped it a few a couple of times. There's little chips in it, right? But um, check this out, right? So there's no score mark. I'm, what I'm going to do is press my nail in. Can you see that, how it's indented? Can you see that? I'll do it again. Hopefully the camera stays focused, alright? So, I'll just push it there. There's nothing there where my nail is. I'm just pushing on my nail. Can you see that? Alright. That's what you don't want, okay? That's soft. Our stuff here, well, you can do this even harder than what I was doing that one. You, there's nothing. There's nothing there. Um, I'm a bit wet, a bit sweaty, guys. It's hot in here. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you know, like, it's hard as. Like, um, ours is more like, um, if you will, glass, okay? You know how glass is really, really hard? Um, and this is like, it's a it's a softer, more absorbable, um, f like, for impact. Like, if you drop ours and drop um, this person's at the same, you know, height and stuff like that, ours may chip a bit more. But I know for a fact it's harder, it shrinks the most, and um, that's what you want, okay? You've got to treat this stuff sort of like glass. Obviously, you're not going to be throwing this around. Normally, you have, say, a pyramid or one of these. I mean, you can have these in your pocket or in your purse or whatever, rattling around. That's fine. You're in your bag, wherever. It's fine. And if you drop it on concrete or something, like even this year, like you're going to, you're going to like somewhat chip it and stuff like that. See that chip in the corner? You don't do that but um like yeah even his more latest ones now i'll see if i can see it hang on i'll get it to focus better all right so you can see this edge here i'm going to do the same thing push on my nail with my with my nail all right 
Oh, it's not focusing. All right, see if it'll focus now. See that? You can even see it like um, ripple in sort of thing. Like it. Well, see that? It sponges back. It goes back to shape. All right. Uh, you don't want this. All right. You don't want your resin to do that. So you can see that corner. That edge is nice. All right. I'm gonna push. You can see the whole thing flex in. You watch. Sorry about the focus, guys. You watch the whole thing, like, further back. The whole thing pushes in. You see that? So this, this is not tough. This is not um, really squeezing upon those crystals and crushing them, you know, creating more piezoelectricity. Um, this here is tough as nails. This is hard. We cannot, we cannot push this in, okay? We can't, you can't do it. You know, you're not going to shatter it like, um... Like a glass cup, if you squeeze a glass cup, you're gonna break it, right? You're not gonna, you can squeeze the shit out of this, you're not gonna break it. But that's what I'm saying, like, so you need to find a resin that's gonna work for you. It's like, I know this is epoxy, I know it's that brand e, e cold epoxy, whatever, it's non toxic, it's 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 good stuff, I guess. But for organon, I would say no, all right, because there's a reason. Now, I've got charge plates of this person as well, so bigger discs. Um, same deal. I actually got two. I've got the biggest one and the medium one. You can see that, right? It's spongy as. Why is it like that? I don't know. This one here does it a little bit around there. But this one does it mostly on the bottom too. So it is, it's, it's, it does different things. It's not fully consistent. But yeah, guys, just a little video, okay? Uh, what resin to use? It's up to you. You've got to figure it out. How many different brands are out there? You know, um, not all um, epoxy resins are the same. Not all polyester resins are the same. Not all tree resins are the same. Or I'm sure there's heaps more out there, but you got to figure it out. Get a little sample pack, a little sample tin or whatever, and uh, try it, okay? But if you got them and you make them and you see that sort of stuff, um, how spongy it is, and even the sides, like, I can actually get my nail, I, like, mark up the sides and it will scratch. See that? It jerked. See that? So you don't you don't want that, okay? These ones here, these ones that we make, I'll do the same thing. Push, push. Here we go. Well, I can't even. It's just that it just doesn't do it, guys. Okay? It just doesn't do it. All right. Um, that is it. Sorry about the dodgy video, but um. Spare of the moment sort of thing. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Check out our Etsy store. Link in the description. Um, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, thanks for watching.